Jerry Lee. Jay Rock has come back to you too. Oh, what is happening in 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 with some millions <laughs> and the millions of J Rock fans from all over the world? J Rock is here. Oh, we got ourselves some Xbox Series X gameplay of Assassin's Creed Val. Holla, holla, holla! And so J Rock said, "Why not check it out? About ten minutes long. So let's buckle up. Let's check this thing out, shall we?" I'm definitely gonna be playing this. Just gotta gotta matter when I get to it. Whole lot of games I gotta get to. I ain't even finished Assassin's Creed Unit. Like that's how far back I'm going. Hi, I'm Julien Laferriere, I'm the producer of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and we are looking forward to players play our game on Xbox Series X and Series S. I'm really excited to be here today and do a deep dive into our gameplay. Well, let's dive, bro. The settlement is really the heart of the experience of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Being a Viking clan leader, this is where your clan lives with you, and you see the village prosper as you have many adventures in the, in the game. Basically, um, you have buildings that you can upgrade and renovate. Uh, this is where you're going to see the consequences of all the decisions that you've made in the game. The settlement also offers many customization opportunities, so you are able to kind of tailor the settlement to your own tastes and needs. As you progress through the game, you will unlock many different buildings, and each of those buildings will give you many possibilities, whether it's a blacksmith where you get to upgrade your gear, or maybe a tattoo artist where you can customize the appearance of your character and your hairstyle, and even some, a place where you can have your, your collections through the Roman collectors or the hunters or the, the fishermen. Every single quest arc in the game is introduced to what we call the war table. And you'll see different opportunities for your clan. Maybe it's to organize a wedding to kind of gain the favors of a local lord. Or sometimes it's an opportunity for a military conquest. Or sometimes maybe a character that you mean will have an agenda of its own. The, the goal is to have a lot of different variety for the players to offer. Every quest arc has a specific flavor for you to discover, an interesting cast of characters as well. And all of this is kind of channeled through the war table with Ranvi being your lead counselor. Um, so the way it plays out is that when you go in your settlement, you consult with Ranvi and she will basically tell you what the local lords have been uh, talking about. So really, the settlement is the heart of the experience of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's meant to be where you start and end every quest arc in the game. So it's really meant to be the central piece for players to kind of live through and see prosper as they uh, live the adventures of the game. River Raid. Right? Look, one of the rich temples. No! As a Viking leader, one of the main activities you do in the game is raiding. So basically, uh, you leave from your settlement on your longboat with your crew and you attack a strategic Saxon location. When you raid, you find special resources and you can use those resources to later on upgrade your settlement, unlocking new buildings and new possibilities. So the raiding really fits within the main loop of the game and enables you to see your clan prospering in England. Making a game about Vikings, we really wanted to deliver on the brutality of the combat. I split you. 
you. There's some beheading. You can really feel the impact of the weapons connecting. Also, we wanted to give the players a range of abilities that they can equip and try to really customize the playstyle that they want. And all the abilities are really grounded into what it means to be a Viking fighting. Another thing about the combat is the variety of the enemy archetypes in the game. We really want to push the challenge forward for the players to kind of have a very good fighting experience that feels really good in the long run. So 50, 60 hours in, in the game, you still have a challenge for your fighting abilities. You will join my pile of can't have a great fighting system without epic boss fights to really challenge the players to their full capacities. And I'm telling it from a personal point of view, the first time I grabbed the controller in my hands and did an amazing boss fight at 60 FPS, the game was just so smooth, it was so nice, just an awesome, really, really cool moment. Odin is with us! Vikings were famous explorers and we wanted to bring some of that flavor into the game to have the players feel like they're exploring a brand new world. One of the tools we have for this is the raven. So the raven, if you fly your raven, the raven will point you out at uh, opportunities for you using beams of light. And every opportunity, every beam of light has a surprise or a little challenge for players to discover. And what's great about the raven on Series X is that we have little to no loading time. So we always have this immersive experience always available, always there, uninterrupted by loading times. Vikings were not welcome in England, the Saxons didn't want them there. And sometimes fighting just doesn't cut it. So you have to use other options like social stealth. And fans yeah. of the franchise will be happy to see that iconic gameplay back into this game. Uh, just with the blending of the monks, which is actually a great tribute to Assassin's Creed 1, or just sitting on the benches unnoticed, using your hidden blade and your hood just to blend in with the big cities of England, it's just a really cool feeling. And for infiltration, a great tool for this is the Odin site, as it highlights enemies, loot, key items, so you have every information at your disposal to just sneak in and make your way through. Must be blocked from the other side. We couldn't do a game about Vikings without touching on their amazing mythology. Vikings were actually living their mythology on a daily basis. It was part of their daily lives. So we had to find a cool way to depict that into our game. So in your settlement, there is a seer who lives there. And that seer will send you on a vision quest. And the first world you get to explore is Asgard. So this very iconic moment of the Viking mythology is available in the game and it's looking great with all the next-gen capabilities we have. So really looking forward to players uh, exploring this amazing world that we've crafted. Our game is leveraging the next-gen capabilities. Whether it's the game running at 60 FPS on Series X, making a great fighting smooth experience, or the improved loading times that really creates those immersive moments. On Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we want players to live their ultimate Viking fantasy. Our team started to work on this game three years ago, and very soon you'll be able to play it. We've crafted this amazing, massive, open world for you to explore. You're gonna love to be a Viking.
says this. Um, this will be a game Derrock will definitely be playing. Just don't know when I'll get to it because I got to get to Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Magonzales, Morotos, Hanino Minustos. I got Godfall. I got Demon Soul. Uh, uh, and, if, and if time hadn't passed J-Rock by yet, I got to finish Watch Dogs Legion. And then damn Cyberpunk is coming out. And then you got Warframe. And I mean, damn, the list, just Ratchet and Clank, the damn list goes on and... D d d freaking uh, uh, Call of Duty, Cold War, damn it, man! I'm overwhelmed and I'm feeling good about it. Cause J Rock is gonna be whooping ass left and right on that PlayStation. I'll get the Xbox Series X next year. I, I decide I'm gonna do that next year. I'm gonna I'm I'm get the, the the Series X next year. It ain't gonna be the Series S. J Rock is gonna throw up the X. All right, but damn. I'm not gonna know. I'll be gaming from sun up to sundown. I mean, damn, man. This is, what is we gonna do? But be that as it may, J Rock is excited for the next gen to be dropping here in six days. Six days, people. We are right there. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Post comments down below and let J Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed the great one's reaction to this, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Also, check out the other reactions on the People's Channel. Put any reaction request down in the comment section or on the People's Facebook fan page. And if I pick your video, Jay Rock will give you a shout out. Lastly, be sure to hit that bell so that you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining Jay Rock. Until we meet again. Mamba GG. And Wakanda forever. If you smell, oh, 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 what J Rock is.